we'll do chest and back. Yes, sir. Uh, no nipples, though. Just the no. chest. Just the mass of the chest. There you go. Like a chicken breast. Like a chicken breast sandwich. You're in top form today, Rick. I am. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to hit it. There you go. So what we'll do is we'll do one set and leave. <laughs> there he is. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. Go to the gym. Follow Rick as he enters. There she is. Miss America. Hi. I want to thank all the little people out there who made me what I am today. <laughs> See you later, man. I always smell like this, Kristen. It's just my natural aroma. <laughs> You're the boss, Rick. You call the shots. I don't have my strap. Let me get one for my car. No, no, no. I want to try to use uh, get this strength back in this hand. So, uh, here you go. I'm going to start with 200 pounds. Okay. And then work up. There you go. Face. The main thing is on this exercise is form. So many people lean it back and pull, stay, and just don't cheat. First set, I feel it. <laughs> Go for 12 good reps. This is a lot of weight. It's 500 pounds. <laughs> to me, it is anyway. Stay straight. There you go. Pull with your lats. Your arms are just levers. Lats do all the work. Good job, Yulia. I'm gonna make you a mountain of a man. A man among men. Good set. There you go. You look so happy. That's a lot of weight. Well, yeah. What kind of exercise is this? Right, these, these, I tell people straight arm pull downs. I don't know what the name is, but I call them straight arm pull downs. And when you come up and you go down, you flex the lat at the bottom and you extend it at the top. So you're uh -huh. stretching and flexing. And it brings out the, the lats, brings the widening up. And you don't have to go heavy, but you've got to go pay directly to do it. Oh, I see. sure you're stable in your position. I put one foot back, it stabilizes me better. Oh yeah. I rushed it. 
Okay, here we go. Sorry. Just look at me with loving eyes. Uh, when you're in the gym as a guy, you need to focus on your training to get your body where you want to get. But there's diversions in the gym, and one of the diversions in the gym is her. She's going to attract all your attention, and you're not going to be able to do your sets and reps. Right? I mean, right? Yes. See? Because look, this is what we're. Uh, this is what we have to face. But it's not so bad. It's just like a kid in a candy store. Right? Just love your chocolates. Thank you, sweetheart. This is the camaraderie you talked about in the 70s. This is it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do lap pulls. Okay. You can use any handle you want. You can go right and go there. Okay. This one, that's pretty good. All right. Now, I used to go really heavy, but I don't think heavy is the answer. I think enormous is the key. So you use a little bit lighter weight and you use good form. Okay. Okay? It shows how it's done. And then you got this guy over here, who is my twin brother. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. That's it. Cool. Stretch. And hold up? Yep. Yes. Keep your back straight. Don't lean back so far. Keep it straight. The idea is to let your ass do all the work. There you go. Just like that. Pull with your lats. Your arms are just levers. Although, it will throw a little bicep in it. Good set. Oh. Feel that? Mario's a good friend of mine. Right? Right? Tell them. You're a good friend of mine? You are uh, my best friend. You love me? <laughs> I love you. See, Mario's we, a little. We're going to get married. Very oh soon. my god. <laughs> he's gonna support me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's and, and he's jealous. He's jealous. <laughs> It's because you want to and everything. This is Elia. And, 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 uh, this is Dennis. Dennis has been on my show. Dennis is from Russia. And we met. And Russia would love. From Russia would love. We met a while back, and uh, I was really taken by how nice this guy is. How uh, honest and sincere. Well, what a great guy. Best, you know? He's making me look way better than I am. Uh, I don't really know, but yes, thank you so much. He says he has a sad day. He comes in the season and starts up. Oh, yeah, definitely. He always inspires everybody that we're here in this Russia. I mean, I appreciate that. Buddy. Yes. And soon, this week or next week, we're going to see the show again. Don't worry about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know why you touched me over there. <laughs> Okay. This, this is the one problem, you know, that's it. We okay. never accept it. He said to yesterday, he says, I'm getting a little fat in my back, so I'll go back here. He said, you don't want to worry about this? It's a muffin tops. Muffin tops. <laughs> almost, almost gone, you know what? I promise, one more month. Oh, I know. And it's going to be worse like this. I love you anyway. Oh, I love you guys too. Okay. Bye. Awesome. Come on, Rick, let's pump it up. Yeah, let's see. How many sets is this? <laughs> this one? Four. So this is your version of a bench press. Well, I've said before on my shows, I used to bench really heavy. It gave me a lot of strength. Maybe it gave me a little size, but it never gives you muscle shape. Benches are good for uh, power lifting. And I love them, and I was one of the best at it. But as you get older, like my age, around 30, you want to kind of like improvise a little bit. You still want to work the muscle. You can work the muscle doing anything that works actually direct to the muscle. So, well, I don't want to do benches anymore. I can't because I throw my tricep, my shoulder. But this is a good alternative. And uh, it does the same thing. As long as you don't, you don't have to go heavy on it. You just want to get your reps in. So, I, I vary two grips. I do this grip. 
CD. I don't know how many reps, as many as I feel like doing that day. Just a warm up. And then I've really gripped it here. Which is completely different motion. Go way back. You can also do push-ups. You know, years ago in class we did push-ups in school. Push-ups developed the test too. I just tell my son that and triceps. So this machine is pretty decent. If you close your eyes and visualize you've got a bar on the bench. You're actually doing a pressing movement. Same motion. It's in here. It's in here. I feel that a lot. But if I'm laying flat on the bench and I got the bar, it's literally the same thing as doing this. Right. Same thing. The only thing you don't have is the balance. Correct. You don't have to worry about the balance. So it's good. And I suggest that you try it. <laughs> okay, Rick. Thanks, mate. I just want to warm up with this one. There you go. Oh, God. Visualize that you have a bar in your hand, you're doing a bench. It's the same exact motion. Now you're a little higher in the seat to me, you sit a little higher. So it's almost a little bit more like a decline, somewhat. Not, not totally, but somewhat. Still working the pecs. And switch your grip. There you go, you'll see the difference. Oh, it's different, right? I feel it already. Oh yeah, that's what she said. Taco Bell. You know, tacos fall apart. Yeah. You know, tacos don't fall apart. You bite into them and they just, yeah, I don't mind a taco once in a while. You know, tacos look like vaginas. Same thing. Could I have a taco please with hair around it? Ooh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah. I'm going to do a pec deck. So pec deck, okay. There's another pec deck I prefer that has pads that you can bring up with the original pec There's another one I don't have to go really heavy on this either. Can. Yeah. Like sit forward a little bit before I come together. Bring my palms together. Good exercise. You're up, buddy. Yes, sir. There you go. Touch your palms. All so chest. I just do this or no, no, no. You're okay. It's all chest. Crunch together in the middle. When you come together, crunch your pecs. Oh. That's what makes it work. James, tell me, since you started training with Rick, has your body changed much? Oh yeah. I go for more of the classic look, not the so big and bulky look. Ah. I feel better, move around easier, feel lighter. Nice. Stronger. I see. So he's so he's a very good trainer. Oh yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, James. <laughs> Dirty dog, you. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of people do declines. I used to decline, but I did decline dumbbells and decline flies. Now they're good for developing the lower part of the chest, but you don't want to neglect the upper part. What happens is as you get older, you see a lot of men, their, their chest drops. So the lower part of the chest begins to sag because it's developing. It just becomes soft and saggy, and the top part drops. So you always want to emphasize the upper chest more than the lower part. This just happens. Just like women, their boobs drop, men's uh, pecs drop as well. And um, it's just, you don't want to overwork the lower part of the chest. 
It'll take care of itself pretty much. That was what I wanted to say. Thank you, sir. <laughs> So what are we doing here, Rick? I'm not sure. You know, I can't do heavy on these because I have a torn rotator. So I've got a frozen shoulder and I got a real tricep. So I'm kind of like a cockroach that somebody stomped on. There's only a few moving cables. So I want to see what I can do with these 30s. I mean, I used to do the. 150s for reps, it's on my website, but I haven't done these in two years. So, just to try to get a little bit of feeling back in my pecs, I, you suggested it, now you've got me thinking about it. Hopefully it won't hurt. Oh, right. Come on, buddy. There you go. Doing good. Boy, those shoulders pop like popcorn. Just now? Yeah. Oh shit. No, that's okay. I can do it. They just, they're like a ratchet wrench. Yeah, and it's, it's a little out of balance. It's like, you get out of the wrestling ring for months, you get ring rust. When you don't do this, you get also dumbbell rust. Right. I think that's the term. <laughs> chest exercise. I like to finish off with this. I used to do this for wrestling, but I get the wrestling just to do a little pump. So if you're on a bar, you can kind of lower if you want, like a deep pump. Think about a shoulder grip. And then, it's almost like a push up. You go down, and then you resist with your body weight, and you push back. All the way resist. Kind of like doing a most muscular. Yeah, it's a killer. Yeah. Definitely killer. Try it. Okay. <laughs> Get a comfortable grip. A little wider. A little wider. There you go. Now, like you're doing a, like you're doing a push up. Oh, I one see. foot back. One foot back. There you go. That gives you resistance. Push all the way down there, your chest. All the way down. Resist coming back. Resist your own weight. Push. Push. Come down again, do it again. All right, now speed it up a shade. I don't really count reps on this. Is this isometric really? Pretty much. It's a good way to finish off your workout. Now bring it back and squeeze and hold it. Push as hard as you can, just hold. Squeeze with your chest, your tries, everything. Hold up your body until you're shaking. Okay, what do you think? Feel it? To be my friend. He used to be a friend, huh? Best friend, my best friend. Give me the money and owe me. Look at the shoes. <laughs> you know why he wears those? Why? He doesn't want to get hit in crosswalks. Very <laughs> funny guy. He's funny. Very funny. Oh, uh, you're serious about the leg raises? Yeah, these are great. Do a hundred of them. See this woman watching me? She She's me. cute. She loves me. <laughs> this is basically all I do right now.
energetic today. You like an ever ready battery. If you don't mind, I'll skip the leg raises. It's alright. Oh. <laughs> are you going to say hi to your friend here? Hey Chuck. This is Evia. This is my friend Chuck. How you doing? Hello, Chuck, Chuck and I have been friends a long time. I made him what he is today. He used to be a 5'4 white redneck from Bakersfield. Now I am a 5'6 redneck from Bakersfield. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That was great. Okay. Okay. What's this now, Rick? Okay, we finished our workout, and every time I train, after I train, you gotta replenish what you've done. So I make a protein drink with a little bit of glucose, glycogen, to run the protein for my cells, and it kind of revitalizes it. So uh, this is like I have now, and then I'll have lunch in an hour and a half. Nice. You gotta have nutrition. You gotta have. Right, brother? Right, brother. <laughs> There you go. Done with our workout. How do you feel, Rick? I feel like I, a cheap suit made in Tijuana ready to fall apart at the seams. <laughs> this is another day in the life of Rick. The morning hours, the gym, the workout, and now we go home, we go to my studio, and I have a guest for Rick's Corner. I'm going to do a couple of behind the scenes of that. After that, then there's lunch. After that, this afternoon, then there's editing. And then <laughs> yeah. it goes from there. <laughs> yeah. So that's my day. And it's a good day. Every day is a good day. Because I'm six feet above ground, and I'm on, all my breaths are still working. And I'm okay. Thank you, Rick. Awesome. We are in Rick Drazen's home. This is his backyard where he has his uh, wrestling ring, where he holds his uh, matches and he teaches wrestling to children and anyone else who's interested. This is awesome stuff. Bring my camera in. This is my other computer that I thought went out on me and I fixed it. So now I use it for Skype. I did a Skype yesterday for Generation Iron. Oh wow. Um, and with the Skype and that computer on here, then I get my whole background, so it's not like a cheesy Skyping from a, an office or a bedroom or something. Right. I had soundboards. Like you did with the Pete Grimkowski? Right. Yeah. Soundboards, uh, the lights are all from Maria Menounos from Channel 4. Oh, wow. She put them in for me. How lovely. So it's worked out real well. This is a behind the scenes look at Rick's studio. I had a show on uh, Rick Racing Live and I had Tough and Tender with Ina about relationships. We had it for a year. It's on my channel. So we're gonna bring Tough and Tender back and I'm gonna change my backdrop to Tough and Tender so we can shoot right here with her and we can do the relationship show. Lovely. So that's coming up. Um, yeah, this is this has worked out real well for me. These are your famous posters. Oh, you excuse me, go ahead. I didn't mean to walk in front of you. No, that's fine. You have to take uh, estrogen blockers if you're on testosterone. And some people do because it enhances the, the estrogen as well. Then you retain water and you get bloated, and then your body changes like a woman. But um, it's you know it's it's so hard because you train people, and people say, "Oh my God, I just can't follow the diet. It's just so hard to eat right." And it's just a matter of sitting down for each meal and just making a choice. You, I, I always felt that you can't plan the whole week, and some people do, they make their food for the week, but every meal I sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna pick this and this, because this is how I'm supposed to eat. Right. And, and then one day I'll go to In-N-Out at 400 a burger. Well, and, but the thing is, is it's a treat. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. cheat meal, it's a treat. You know, people, I think America in general has gotten away from the fact that, you know, 
they were treats. You know, you didn't go to drive throughs every day. You went to McDonald's like once a week or once a month. Yeah. You know what I mean? You went to, and you were treated on the Sunday with maybe a candy bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? You didn't eat candy bars every night for dinner no. or for, for dessert. <laughs> the funny know? thing is, I'm not a candy bar eater, but let's, uh, in an out burger, for example, I get a three by three. You got three pieces of meat and three pieces of cheese. You got lettuce and tomato. We're going to do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's basically all protein. Right. But then you have a little bread. Right. So that's not so bad. I mean, that's not really a bad meal. I figure it's like a protein snack, but if you're doing it four or five o'clock, then you don't want to get it full. So that can happen as well. So what are your what are your plans for now? You're doing something with the uh, economy. Yeah, I actually have that <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He does that on a big dog. He's gonna head on and take him down. That is so funny. <laughs> Maybe it's only the tackler. So <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. He's gonna watch too much wrestling in the ring. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he watches Monday Night Raw with us every Monday night. <laughs> Drayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.